Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me for your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 24th of February. Please stick with me to the end because there's such an, an exciting amount of activity going on this week. Not least, we have the energy cascading into this situation from last week's new moon in the sign of Pisces, which is all about instinct. And this is linking up to Mars, the planet of passion, which is exalted in Capricorn. And also uh, the Sun and Mercury, despite Mercury's retrograde, are very close together. And Mercury too is forging a terrific angle to Mars. So we can think on our feet. Of course, precision with Mercury retrograde continues to be important. If we rush something or we're careless, we don't really attend to the details, something could go awry. But also, Jupiter and Neptune continue their loving. They're the two rulers of Pisces. So if we do want to ascend to a higher part of ourselves and of, of being, the opportunity is there. And Mercury is also forging a fabulous angle to the North Node in Cancer for the first half of this week. So if you have an instinct about where a trend is heading, then do trust your judgment. So what might be more challenging? Well, to be honest, in the first half of this week, it's about Venus and Jupiter. And in the second half of this week, it's about Venus and Pluto. Someone or something can seem larger than life and we could be absolutely wrapped with enthusiasm and admiration. But don't pitch in too quickly, whether it's around loot or love, before you know if there is a catch, because I think it's possible there will be. So stay with me to understand how this will pan out for your specific zodiac sign. Your specific forecast, Pisces, suggests with the power of the new moon in your sign, giving you an awesome opportunity to shape your own destiny by being very single-minded and very individualistic in your approach. This is not the time to be too mindful of what other people's oppositions are to those ideas. It is about having a strength of purpose. And with Mars also in a very positive area, you can be very rugged in your long-term plans and you may be surprised that others can actually be really quite supportive. The only thing you need to be a little bit more watchful about is of course with Mercury um, in retrograde in your sign, there could be the potential for one plan that was very important to you uh, coming to a halt and you may find yourself changing it and refocusing on something else. But if that happens, don't beat yourself up. It's all part of a process which is going to be fully revealed by the end of March when you really will be on track, clearing your objectives and moving forward handsomely. Also, finance can be boosted by Venus being in your second solar house, but you also might want to lavish some of your money or your generosity on someone you care for with Venus and Jupiter in a right angle in the first half of this week. This is one of the, the really lovely squares that you can get. It can see us be a bit extravagant and maybe lacking a little bit of focus, but I think generally Mars and the Sun are going to keep you in uh, the groove, but it's the second half of the week where I feel Venus can provide, provide a bit more of a challenge. There could be someone around you in your friendship group who is inclined to be, on the face of it, very charming, very affable, but maybe actually a bit of a schemer and, and uh, a bit cunning, but for their own benefit. So just make sure you don't end up getting used by someone that actually you feel quite friendly and well regarded to. It's been a real pleasure being with you. If you'd like to ascend above your zodiac sign and embrace personal astrology and understand what makes you tick beyond just where your sun's located, please see the link beneath this video where you can order your personal character analysis and also uh, your 12 month forecast and also achieve a 30% discount, or you can choose to have a one-to-one -one personal consultation with me. But for now, good luck and goodbye.